Is there a surgical fix for chronic pain? Today, I present the case of a 42-year-old female who comes to my office after sustaining a crush injury to her leg. A few months ago, she was trying to get out of a golf cart that was still in motion, and the cart actually ran over her leg, causing a crush injury. She suffered a distal fibular fracture, which is one of the most common fractures of the ankle. It was initially splinted, but this failed, and she went on to have surgery. She underwent an ORIF of this fracture, and did very well after this initially. The fracture went on to heal on its own, but the pain persisted. She began to develop skin changes to that foot where she had swelling and color changes, as well as temperature changes. The foot became extremely sensitive to anything that touched it, and she got to the point where she could not even put on a shoe. She has something called CRPS, or Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. This is when someone develops extreme pain, skin changes, and other symptoms and it typically happens after an injury. The injury usually affected is one of the extremities and it's most common after wrist injuries. The pain can be so extreme that it can affect your sleep, daily activities, as well as your mental health. Type one is an injury that does not involve nerve damage and it used to be called RSD or reflex sympathetic dystrophy. Type two is less common, but it does happen with a nerve injury. It can even happen after spinal surgery. It can be acute or short term, or it can even be chronic where the pain can last for a long period of time and even forever. Fortunately, it's relatively rare, but we get about 200,000 cases diagnosed per year in the US. The most common symptom is pain, and we're talking about extreme pain to the point where you can feel like your extremity is actually tearing off your body. I mentioned the changes in skin color, but it can also cause hair loss, swelling, and other symptoms in that extremity. We aren't really sure what causes it, but we do think it's some type of injury to the autonomic nervous system. The injury to those fibers distorts how your body interprets pain from your extremity. So there's an abnormal firing of pain signals and your brain just can't shut it off. Because of this, it is so hard to treat. It's important to seek treatment early to get mobility restored to the limb as soon as possible because it can stiffen over time. Seeking a healthcare professional that is experienced in CRPS is extremely important so you know what you're dealing with. A multimodal approach is so important in these patients because it is so difficult to treat. We often start with physical therapy, lifestyle changes, as well as behavioral therapy, and there are medications that can help dull the pain. Mirror therapy can be utilized to trick your brain into thinking that you're exercising your good limb. Desensitizing that limb is also important to help lessen the pain. Certain conditions can make this worse, like smoking and diabetes, because your nerves won't heal as well. You guys have heard me say this before. This is your sign to stop nicotine products if you do use them, because it's so bad for your nerves. And controlling your diabetes is also critical for nerve healing. All right, all right, we've talked about it, but why did this patient come see a neurosurgeon? Remember the whole thing about tricking the brain into thinking that you're not in pain? Well, that's where I come in. Spinal cord stimulation is a great treatment for CRPS. When your body senses pain, there is a signal that goes up your spine and into your brain that leads you to think that you're feeling pain. Even if you're not feeling pain, there's an implantable device that we can put and override your body's perception of pain. It disrupts those pain signals so you no longer feel pain and you can get back to life. And you can even control it with your phone. In our patient, her symptoms did not improve with all conservative treatments, so she became a candidate for a spinal cord stimulator trial. She took a test drive for just a few days and found out that this device magically got her back to her life. We implanted the device and she went home the same day. Using the HFX IQ app on her phone, she achieved a pain-free state within just a few weeks. It's such an honor to be able to treat patients that cannot be treated in any other traditional way. Patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.